Thermal imaging cameras. We use them all the time. We usually use handheld ones, but we do have a small infrared P2 Pro that connects up to your phone, uses the P2 Pro app. You can download that right now for free if you'd like just to check out what the app will do without even having the thermal imager. Pretty cool, let me tell you that. Let's go through this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. Sorry for the noise of the heat gun. We're just about out of battery. I'm doing a little bit of testing for the next video. You can see what this looks like in the B20. And then we move over to the P2 app. It's close. I think you get a little bit more detail out of the B20, but this is not horrible. And I can show you it and I can record video, take pictures, I can do all kinds of things, but it's hard to show you the differences. Now the, the weird thing, I can turn this. That's kind of cool. I can go the other way. It makes the numbers that are in there upside down, but it allows me to do different things and I think that part's kind of neat. But if I'm showing you guys this stuff, this is kind of where it's at to me. Now I can change palettes pretty easily, go through different things that's white hot, different rainbows. Sounds like our heat gun's done. But it works out cool. And I do like the fact that it's on my phone and it can see a long ways. To make this a little more interesting, this is a full run on this heat gun with the new DeWalt PowerStack 5 amp hour battery. Look at this, not hot at all. And I'm gonna do a, a test run between this to see if you know the 5 amp hour XR gets hotter than this or not and then test the run times. But there's no heat here for it being running for a pretty significant period of time. Something this app does not like is to be taken away from it and go back. Many times if I just scroll over, I look at my pictures and then I go back to the app, it'll work, but there are times that if I get into something a little bit more intense, go to weather, see what's happening, and then go back, it'll freeze. And of course it won't at this period in time, but that's just one of those things that I've had happen with this app is have it freeze and then you have to open it back up and you'll notice it does a little setup here while it's going in and looking at everything, which is cool. And it comes back in all the same settings that you left it in. The only thing that never seems to hold is a video. So it always wants to take a photo rather than video. That is not a problem. If you look at the settings, you have a bunch of different things up here, the temperature, which you can go back and forth between different units, the professional thermometry, which I can turn on, but what that ends up doing is removing any of the actual uh, specific temperatures that are in here. It gives you, you can add a scale, you can add all kinds of little things to it, you can add points, but it just seemed like for what we were doing and what I was showing, this non-professional view, seem to be a little bit better. You can change the palettes from multiple things just like you can anything else. But beyond that, I kept it on rainbow for what it's doing for you guys. You can change the image, you can do different temperature displays. There's all kinds of stuff as you can imagine with your phone. But this little dude at the bottom is it. That's it, plugs into your USB-C port. They do give you a cable, so if you'd like to extend that. And I also got this little guy that magnetically goes over the top that makes it zero in and be a little bit more uh, intense, a little bit more direct. So it's just a different lens that zooms in further. Kind of cool, sits in there with a magnet, but that's basically it. Something that has always interested me with thermal imaging cameras is can you use them hunting? Can you use them e-tracking? Can you use them for multiple different things? And I wanted to go out and take a look at our dog. Might as well just see what it looks like. And you actually can see the dog from quite a distance away, which is a little bit surprising and it seems to be fairly accurate since it is significantly cold out there and you can see the different warm and cold spots on her body basically to the amount of fur that she has and you can switch over and do different types of, of views obviously in this and I'm just doing the recording so you can see what the recording will look like uh, but it, it's not 
I don't know, how do you say it? I mean, it, it works. It's not something that I think you're gonna pop through a scope and see what's going on out there or anything like that. This is definitely not that. They do make that, um, but it does work. So if you wanted to have this long-term and have something on your phone and look out large distances, you can see that. And I think that's pretty cool. You have to have this on your phone. And you, you, know, you can have it in your pocket, no big deal, that works. You can carry it around with you. You can do all kinds of different things. They give you a little bag in here um, that you can put things in, which is not a bad idea, I guess. Um, I go back to, it, I love using my phone for multiple different things, but in some ways I just wanna have something else that's not. So if I was hunting and I wanted to use this, it would be great. I could have it in my pocket and I don't have to carry this big guy out there. Um, but I always go back to, I have to have this app that works on my phone. So if I upgrade to the newest phone, will that app work? And that's up to you guys if you wanna buy a piece of technology because obviously if this was a USB micro or USB mini or any of those combinations, it wouldn't work in my phone. And if you had some sort of an Apple phone, it may not work in that either. So one of those things that's a downside, but all the upsides are you get everything else that comes along with using it on your phone. All right, we froze up again. Dang it. So I'm just gonna clear this app, get out, and then go back and tell it it can always use my camera. Please plug in the device. There we go. Going through, doing its little thing, which is not a big deal. Now I'm gonna take a video. And one of the things that Infrared says on this P2 Pro is that it, it's clearer than the FLIR. And I'm just gonna show you guys this video I'm taking here and it's basically of the heat gun and a Milwaukee light that is currently running. And it, it doesn't seem bad. I, I feel like the other uh, Hick Micro B20 is a little bit clearer, but it's a much smaller screen. So at the same point, what we're looking at is not horrible. It, it seems to work. I have no complaints other than I feel like I have to hold my phone differently because I'm used to holding my phone and not having my finger over top of the cameras. But other than that, this thing does work excellent and gives us a great view of what's happening. So overall, if you're looking for something like this, I think it's kind of cool. I hesitate on something that is so expensive and so small because I'd lose it. But other than that, I really kind of could get used to having this on my phone where I could take a video and uh, or take a picture and rock it out. I think that part is what makes this amazing is the ability to video and camera items so quickly and with ease and then carry it with you, not have to move it over to your phone or do something like that. I think that's a huge plus. Overall, if you're looking for a thermal imager to connect to your phone, I think it's pretty cool. I, you could get into using this and, and really having your phone there. So I can see the draw as to why you would want it in certain situations on your phone. I just question you know, what you're doing. So in certain situations, it's really nice to have it on your phone, be able to take a picture, have it all there, all the, the images right there. So I can see it. Job site stuff, man, it's right there. Your phone is your lifeline to everything else. Easy to download. Don't have to deal with something like this and a, a small card inside. Take it out, pull it around. Convenience factor, huge. Then there's the downsides. Other than that, I think this thing is cool. Very tiny, very easy to use. I think that could be a huge benefit and a huge downside. Either way, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Let me know that below. Meanwhile, you can subscribe to the channel. Give us a like on this video. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.